Hi, welcome back to the course of fundamental of food preparation. Today we are going to continue our practice class which is practical number 2 which about the food handling and pre preparations. The objective of this practical class is to study the effect of several food handling and pre preparation techniques on foods include blanching, washing, peeling, mashing, grating, shredding, grinding, steeping and also sieving. Why we have to know some of pre-preparation techniques? This is because of some of advanced preparation often require pre-preparation of ingredients to make them ready uh, for use in the finished recipe. For example, like when we are want to prepare a chicken salad, chicken must be diced first and then cooked before we can proceed with the complete recipe. Beside that, we also can create different effects in the foods by performing different activities on them even though we are using the same type of food, for example like potatoes. When we want, when, when we are, when we want to prepare a potato chips, we are going to slice them thinly and then while we are going to prepare a mashed potato or potato puree, we are going to boil and mash them first before proceeds to the latter step. Therefore, this activity by which food become ready to be cooked is called as pre-preparation. The purpose of proper food preparation are to achieve several objectives includes first to conserve the nutritive value of the foods, second to improve the digestibility of the foods, third to develop and enhance flavor and attractiveness of original color, shape, form and also texture of the foods and final one to make food safe for human consumption. Alright, for this practical class, you will have to perform six simple tasks. The task number one is very simple, which is washing. For task number one, you will require several equipment and consumer. For equipment, you will, re you will require a colander and also the vegetable brush to clean up the vegetables. And for consumable, we are going to use several types of vegetables includes carrots, potatoes, celery and also cabbage. For this task, first of all, you just wash all the vegetables thoroughly. For root vegetables that are not peeled, such as potatoes for baking, should be scrubbed very well with a stiff vegetable brush. For green leafy vegetables, wash them in several changes of cold water. Then, lift the green from the water so the sand can sink to the bottom. Then, it is followed by pouring off them into a colander. After finish with washing, Drain them well and keep them in refrigerator with lightly covered. The purpose of covering is to prevent drying, but covering too tightly cuts off air circulation. This can be a problem if the product is stored more than a day because mold is more likely to grow in a damp and also closed space. Alright, now we are moving to the second task. The second task for this practical class is about grating. 
For this task, you will require some equipment and some consumable. For equipment, first of all, you will require hand grater to grate the vegetable. You will require as well the paring knife to peel uh, the carrots, alright? And then you will require a Chinese bowl and also a plate and also a cleaner. For consumable, we are going to use two types of vegetable. First of all, carrot. We are going to use three medium of carrots and also three roots of celery. Alright. First of all, uh, first step we have to peel the outer layer of the carrot first because I think we have to remove the uh, the, the skin. Alright. By using paring knife. Just peel it. Alright, once you have finished peeling all the carrots, okay, you just take uh, the other one of the wedges, okay, and then you just push this wedges along the whole of the hand grater. Alright, so what you have to do, you just make a a uh, top down motion uh, starting from the up and uh, we'll go to the uh, moving down all right just like this all right okay from top to the down eh? Right. So, eh, when, when when the vegetable get too small to shred, eh, you just simply uh, cut them uh, into pieces with the knife to prevent your finger from getting scraped. All right. Just use the uh, the knife. Just cut them you know, by using the knife. All right. can just miss them eh? you can just miss them eh? cut them into uh, very small uh, pieces you just miss them Right. Then you just mix them with the the one who already you uh, just grated just now. All right. All right. Next, I'm going to uh, proceed with the celery. Huh? So just do the same thing. Huh? Make a, a top down motion. Huh? Starting from the top, moving down. All right. Just uh, maybe just uh, for celery, I'm going to use. A bigger hole eh? uh, from this uh, hand grater. Uh. Please be careful, eh? Stay, eh? wash your, your hands to prevent uh, any injuries. So, all right, all right.
yeah when it gets smaller you just uh, cut them by using uh, the knife all right Right, so finally, eh, eh, you we have a very nice grated vegetable that can be used for maybe eh, can be used for uh, salad vegetable and other recipe. Yeah. All right, the next task is shredding. I believe you have learned this uh, cutting skill in the previous uh, practical class. But we just do it again as it is required to prepare some uh, shredded uh, cabbage eh, which will be used in preparing uh, coleslaw in the final task for this practical class. For this task number 3, you will require some equipment and consumable as well. For the equipment, we're going to use a knife, alright, for shredding purpose, alright, a chopping board, and also a colander. For consumable, we are going to use a, me, a, 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 med, a small of cabbage, but if you are using the big one, you can just uh, use half of them, all right? All right, the next step, I'm going to peel up a few layer of the cabbage uh, leaf, all right? Just simply uh, peel up them, all right? Okay. 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 And then you just uh, step them on top each other like this. Okay. And then you just uh, roll up them like into a single like shape. Huh? Just did what you have learned in the previous uh, practical class and then you just slide, uh, slice them into a very uh, thin strip okay you can just start shredding Right now, you have your nicely shredded cabbage leaf. All right, let's say if you don't want to use knife, eh, you also can uh, cut them by using hand grater. Also, can all right, that's all for this task. All right, the fourth task for this practice class is meshing. For this task, you will require several equipment and consumable as well. For example, like, we're going to use paring knife to peel the skin of the potato. And also, we're going to use chef knife to cut them into cube before we uh, go for boiling. And then, potato measure to mash the potatoes. A chopping board, a Chinese bowl, a colander, and also a soft spot to boil the potatoes. For consumable, we are going to use five medium of potatoes. Yeah. All right. For this task, you may begin with peeling the skin of potatoes.
After you finish peeling them, cut potato scraps into smaller pieces. Make sure the cube of potatoes are relatively the same size so they cook evenly. We are not going to end up with some cool and some raw in the middle. Next, we are going to place them into a saucepan. Then, fill the sauce pot with cold water to cover all the potatoes. Make sure all the potatoes submerge under the water to make sure that they are going to cook evenly. Place the sauce pot over medium-high heat. Cook the potatoes until extremely tender and nearly falling apart. This process will take about 20 minutes but it still depends on the size of, of the potatoes and also the size of the sauce pot. After it's done, drain the water into a colander and shake it to remove as much water as possible. Then, place the cooked potatoes back into the same sauce pot and keep on the heat until there is no longer large amount of steam. Don't worry, if your, if your potatoes are really starting to fall apart at the point, it means they are well cooked and it will be mashed smoothly. Finally, by using potatoes mesher, you may begin to mash the potatoes without adding any butter or milk, just break them all up. This will look extremely crumble as we just don't want any large bits of potatoes. Then, it's done. You will have your nicely mashed potatoes. Now we come to task number five, which is we are you are going to prepare a mashed potatoes by using those mashed potatoes that you have been prepared uh, just now in the task four. Alright, for this task you will require some equipment and some consumable. For the equipment, you will require food mixer and then a Chinese bowl. For consumable, first of all you will use Five medium of potato that has been mashed, half cup of fresh milk, half cup of butter, one teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of uh, white pepper, and half teaspoon of parsley. For this task, begin with mixing the mashed potato with the butter. By using mixture, 
Mix the mashed potatoes with butter evenly. Please make sure that you are using a room temperature butter. It is important that the butter is at room temperature as we don't want to cool down the potatoes as this will turn the mashed potato extremely gloopy. Next, pour warm milk into the mash. Make sure to use the warm milk. Never use cold milk as this will change the consistency of the potatoes. And by using mixture, mix the meat evenly with the mixture of the mashed potato. Next, add some salt and pepper for seasoning purpose. And then, mix them around with the mixture. Make sure they mix evenly. You may give a taste and access the texture. It should be silky smooth, creamy and fluffy. Finally, after it's done, transfer the mashed potato into a plate. For garnishing purpose, you may add some parsley leaf on top of the surface of mashed potatoes. Then, your delicious mashed potato is ready to be served to your guests and family members. Now, we come to the final task for this practice class, which is task number 6. For this task, you are going to prepare a carrot and cabbage coleslaw by using those carrot and cabbage that you already have, you have already prepared in task 1, task 2 and task 3. Alright, for this task, you will require some equipment and tools and together with some of the consumable. 
Uh, for the tools, you will, you're going to use a balloon whisk and also one big bowl. For the consumable, uh, we're going to use uh, three medium of carrot and also together with three root of uh, celery that, that, that has been uh, grated in the previous uh, task. We're going to mix together with the shredded cabbage. All right. Another uh, another thing we're going to use half cup of uh, mayonnaise, one and half a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice, one tablespoon of vinegar, two tablespoon of sugar, uh, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one half teaspoon of black pepper. Begin with adding mayonnaise into a big bowl. Then, followed by adding some vinegar. Next, pour some lemon juice. And then, some sugar into the mixture. And finally, add some salt and black pepper. Next, by using balloon whisk, stir the mixture until it's well mixed. After all the ingredients mix properly, combine all the vegetables with the mixture in a big bowl. Mix them around to make sure that the sauce will be covered the whole part of the salads. After it's done, transfer the salad into a plate. And now, you have a very nice, delicious carrot and cabbage coleslaw. Alright, I think that's all for practice class number 2. I hope you are able to perform all the tasks assigned. And I wish you all the best. See you in the next practice class. Bye-bye.